So we'll probably have words after this is all over because you put me behind that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to ride back to his office. His car will be gone. <laughs> So I'll, I'll spend the rest of my career saying thank you, so kudos to you for that. So we, I put my thoughts together, and you all have them in front of you, and you can all read. Uh, so I'm not going to go over those in detail. In fact, I had the, the beautiful outline in 22 font, so I could read it, much like everybody else up here. Uh, and I ended up leaving that in my car. <laughs> actually done intentionally, and I'll, and I'll tell you why here in a second. The things in my comments talk about, you know, uh, people, planning, progress, and perspective. You know, the people make it go. The planning, you, you'll never get where you're going if you, don't know, if you don't know the directions. The progress, don't wait for the industry to change. Be a leader. If you fall, fall forward. Uh, no big deal. And perspective. Figure out what's really important. The reason I left my notes in my car is yesterday I got a, I got a really heavy dose of perspective. I was asked to escort an honor flight of uh, uh, military veterans out to Washington, D.C., a one-day trip, you know, up at three, get them out of bed, get them dressed, take care of their medical needs, get them in the wheelchairs, get on the plane, get there. Up at three, we got back a little after midnight last night. I got a heavy dose of perspective. Uh, so uh, we had everybody from World War II to Korean War down to Vietnam vets, uh, including a 94-year-old female uh, who's one of the last remaining uh, contributors, serious contributors to World War II, uh, right here in Central Iowa. So I got a dose of perspective, but it all came to me. The reason I left my notes in the car is uh, private first class, uh, low lean, uh, somebody who I'll stay in contact forever. I'm wheeling them down, we're going through the Korean War Memorial, and a group of students from South Korea, uh, ages probably 13 to 17, uh, about 40 of them with their instructor, we're at the Korean War Memorial. And we're wheeling them, and I'm not sure, you know, I'm wondering, you know, Lowell and I are talking, I'm thinking, how is this gonna go? You know, what does Lowell think about this? And they came up one by one, we were there for a half hour, as each one of them said thank you, and they wanted their picture taken with private, private first class, Lowell Lean, somebody they never knew. And I thought to myself, There's, there is perspective, right there. This guy and this group of 250 that we took to Washington, D.C. made it better for everyone. That's perspective. You want to feel puny? Get on a plane with people like that. <laughs> so on the way back, we loaded the plane about 10.05 uh, out in D.C. Uh, so the notes I have today uh, were written in the dark under heavy turbulence. <laughs> so, so I took this thing a whole different direction because I think there's a bigger message here now. Uh, uh, perspective, what's really important. When you look at Central Iowa, we have a long-standing history of uh, philanthropy in this city. Long-standing history. No gap is left unfilled when it comes to those major issues. Someone always steps in to fill that gap. Some of them do it privately, some of them do it publicly. Some of them go through a foundation designed just for that. But somebody always steps up and fills that gap. Unfortunately, if we go through that list of names, if we had to make a top 10, if I asked these panelists to make a top 10 and some of the people that I recognize in this room who are, who are our top 10, we're probably going to come up with the same 10 names, or at least eight of them are the same names. Let's stop and think about that. We've all, a lot of people up here have talked about succession planning. I talk about it in my notes. We need a succession plan 
in that area as well. Not as individuals, but as a community. Who's got the next great idea? Who's gonna, who's gonna be the next person to step up and fill that gap in our community? As I'm telling you, the people willing to do that are what separates Central Iowa from other places across this country that have turmoil. The places that, the places that are in constant conflict, that's what sets us apart. It's got nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with the good people that live and work in Central Iowa. So that's where our focus needs to be. I look across this room, and there are people out here that have been there, done that. Trust me. I've worked with them a lot. Uh, you know, they've always been there for us. They've always been there for countless other causes in our community. And then I see some fresh faces. I look around this room, and I think these are the folks that just need a nudge. They need that nudge to go, what's that next great idea? What's that program, that process, that project that we can work on? When it all boils down, it's got nothing to do with me. It's got nothing to do with police work. It's got everything to do with Central Iowa. Everything to do with our community. What's that next great idea? Because at the end of the day, there are people in this room, the best and the brightest, that can come up with that next best idea. Your wisdom will get you the idea. Your courage and your character will ensure that that idea is successful. It's just taking that first step. If you can boil it all off, but someday, at the end of the day, we're all going to have a legacy. We're all going to have a legacy. And it's not going to be how well you ran your company, you know, your stats, your bottom line, your profit margin, all those things. That's not going to matter anymore. When you think about your legacy, and what we want the legacy to be in Central Iowa, we should be thinking, of, thinking about it in a whole different perspective. One I learned yesterday. Did we make it better for everyone? <laughs>